Marhaba indulgers! Welcome back to Indulge with Iti. Today we're going on a culinary safari to Northern Africa. This Moroccan-inspired slow-cooked lamb is vibrant, delicious and tender. Traditionally, this dish is prepared in a clay tagine. I did not have access to one, but here I'm using my cast iron version, which did a wonderful job. Do not be discouraged if you don't own one of these cast iron tagines. You can still achieve this wonderful melt in your mouth tenderness with a pressure cooker or your favorite pot. So without wasting any more time, let's dive into this recipe. So here are the ingredients for this recipe. Please refer to the ingredient list that is listed at the beginning of the video. Let's begin with seasoning our lamb shanks. I added all the dry ingredients. These were coriander, ginger, hot paprika, cumin, black pepper and half of the quantity of salt. Next, I crushed the garlic and added it to the meat. I followed up with a tablespoon of olive oil just to make sure that the dry ingredients stuck onto the meat. Then we're going to massage the meat until all of that spicy goodness sticks on. Here I have preheated my tagine and added about a tablespoon of oil. My lamb shanks are now ready to go in. We're going to brown them before proceeding to the next step. After about one minute of frying these lamb shanks on high heat, we begin to develop some browning. I then lowered the heat and added the chopped onions. Once the onions start to soften and begin to look transparent, I add in my chopped tomatoes. At this stage the pot looks very crowded, but as the vegetables begin to sweat down and cook, everything becomes balanced. Next I tucked in some cinnamon bark just to add some sweet fragrance. And to follow that I added the dried apricots, which add some sourness and sweetness to this dish. I love the way Moroccan dishes incorporate the spiciness and the sweetness in one meal. It really does play with your taste buds and excite your senses. Lastly, I'm going to add what's left of the salt. I then stir the entire pot so that I get the salt to distribute evenly. You can add more salt or less depending on your own preferences. Stir the pot in well and allow it to simmer on a medium heat until all the liquids start to rise. Once your tagine looks full of liquidy, soupy-like sauce, cover it with a clay lid and allow the slow cooking magic to take place. I decided on adding one green chili just to take up the spice a notch. I then covered the pot once again and cooked it on a very low heat for one and a half hours. Look at that soft and tender lamb. You can serve the slow cooked lamb with some rice or keep it traditional and serve it with some couscous. I enjoyed mine with some whole wheat couscous. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe and become an honorary indulger. 
I hope you bring this recipe into your homes and I'll see you again in my next video. Goodbye!